Well, I must say, Mike, I never thought I'd be standing here with you talking about a pillow. I guess I just assumed that a pillow is a pillow is a pillow. Terry, that's what everyone believes. We've been lied to all our lives by the pillow industry who tells us that every pillow is the same. But think about it. I don't wear the same shoe size or t-shirt as you. Why would we think one size fits all would be right for anyone? Can you tell us what makes my pillow so different than any other pillow out there? Absolutely, Terry. We're gonna go through a little timeline of pillows here. Uh, this is, by the way, is this a down pillow, just like the one I bought when I was 16 that didn't work. And here's, <laughs> if Becca lays on this, she'll lay down, and we're going to show you that we've all went through this. You lay on down, it feels comfortable right away, and what does it do? It goes down. Down is down. It becomes, your neck is bent, and then what do we have a tendency to do? We stick our arm under there. We prop ourselves up with our arm. And have you ever slept on a down pillow, Terry? That's what I had when I met you. I thought it was a great pillow, <laughs> right. but I was it, wrong. Right, they go flat, and then when you wake up with your arm asleep. Arm asleep you know, and a naked, sore neck. Yeah, and a sore neck. Everybody goes through this. Down pillows are the worst things you can do for your body, I believe, in my lifetime. That's it. There's nothing worse. Then they have um, a lot of pillows made out of fiber fill, and we've all slept on these. You lay on them. <laughs> And it's like a trampoline, you know. You move them and your head, they're not going to hold that position. You need something that keeps your neck straight at night for you. And this is not the job. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We'd be better off stacking phone books, I always said, and putting a towel over it to get the right height for our neck. And then they came out with the memory foam. Remember this one? Oh, yeah. When this came out, we all, at least I did for sure, is I'm going, this is a great idea. It's going to match my neck. Perfect. And I got it, and I'm going, well, like we said before, we all have different size shoes. We all have different size shirts. We, our necks are different. How dare the pillow industry tell us that this was going to work for all of us? I'm going to take this for Becca, and I'm going to push this down to get to her comfort level. Right there? She's good. Now, if you sit up, Becca. Now, right there, this would be too low for me. It might be too high for you. This is Becca's exact height. Only for her back sleepy. If she was going to lay on her side, it would be too low. What if you were able to get a device that you could adjust it and get exactly what you need for an individual? It would be amazing. Yeah, it would. Guess what? Here it is. <laughs> so here's my pillow. Now, when I invented my pillow, now you watch. Becca will lay on this and you adjust it. She gets exactly what she needs for her. Whether you're side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, it doesn't matter. My pillow does two things that no other pillow does in the world. It doesn't go flat during the night, much as it doesn't go flat for 10 years. And, and it's supporting her exactly where she needs it, the arch of her neck. Oh. Keeping, if you looked inside her neck, if you could, it's lined up perfect for her sleeping on her side. Okay. Now if she goes to her back, if Becca goes to her back, she can take it. And she adjusts exactly for her back sleepy. Now look at this. We talked about that curved pillow before. Yep. That's her comfort level. Look at this. It's amazing. It's exactly curved for Becca. 